first we're going to choose our background for our video wall. Now we go to special, Akaba, draw mode, okay. Now we need to choose the outline for our monitors. Go to color, we want it to bleed so that the colors fade. Okay. Now we're going to choose a pencil. Choosing a round pencil and taking the blur off will make our edges rounded. So when we choose a square, our edges, as you can notice, are rounded. And then we can go back and size it to the size that we need. Now that we've created our outline, we're going to go back, choose a different color to key out. Again, size it for the middle. Now we're going to put a reflection at the top of the corner to make it more of a realistic TV. Now we need to go back and choose a different color, green, to fill in for just that slight reflection. Once we've created our first monitor, now we want to stamp more than one monitor. So now we go to the draw mode, drawing only because we don't want our background to go with it. We just want our TV monitor to be stamped. So we continue stamping our rows. Now to make more than one row, we go back to the draw and we trace out the whole row. Now we can stamp all three to make multiple rows. And there we have our video wall. And we're going back to our edit screen and OK. Now it is creating our video wall. Once we've created our video wall, now we're going to add that to the storyboard and choose our video that's going into our monitors. Then we go to Transitions, Picture in Picture Studio. We add that to the storyboard, change the length to match the video wall, and then we launch the program. We choose a different size. We don't need anything but a square because that's what size our monitors are. Then we place it over one of the monitors, size it so it covers the whole green. We go back to our s transitions menu and make a scene out of that. Once it's done creating, now it is creating. Once it has created that scene, then we're going to add that to the storyboard and remove our other two scenes that are combined in that one scene. And then we're going to add our next video scene and go through the same steps, adding it, choosing the setting the time to match, launching the program, Choose it in position, place it over a green, go back, make sure the shadow's off and the blur, and the blur is off to zero. And then we go back to our transitions, make a scene out of that. And once it's done creating, Again, we add that scene to the storyboard, remove the other scenes, choose a different video. Add behind, transitions, picture in picture studio. Add, choose the time, launch the program, set the position of it. And the size is correct, so we go back and we make a scene out of that. Effects plus scene, and when it's done, cre again, 
adding that to the storyboard, choosing our last video to go in our last monitor. We add that to the storyboard after, behind. Add our picture in Picture Studio, set the duration time, launch the program, and position it to the last over the last monitor. And go back to our edit screen, our transition menu, and make a scene out of all of that. And it'll be creating. Once we've created that new scene, add it to the storyboard. Now once we've created the video, we need to smooth out the edges. We find our original video wall, place it behind the scene, go to Blue Box World, add, set the time, start the program, Choose the tolerance to smooth out the edges and the matte density to make sure that all the green is not showing. Tolerance at somewhere in between 100%. Go back, make a scene out of all of that, and it's creating. Once we finish creating that, we add that to the storyboard, remove the other two, and now we can play our video wall. Congratulations. We choose our scene, choose our same video wall, blue box world, add, set the time, start the program, and again, Smoothing out the edges and the matte density to make sure all the green is showing. And then we make a scene out of all of that. So now we just have one video playing throughout all the different monitors. And it's creating. Once that has been created, we add it to the storyboard, remove the other two, and now we can play. Again, to finish our project, add background music and we have our two video walls. Congratulations.